Today on this episode of Social Lead Hub, we're going to go into cold messaging. Does cold messaging help you recruit more reps and get more clients in your network marketing business? We're going to get started in three, two, one. Hey guys, Tom Fernandez here, CEO of Social Lead Hub. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about cold messaging. You know, sometimes you hear people say well, on one spectrum, oh, cold messaging is dead, it's annoying, it doesn't get any results. And then on the other spectrum, you see individuals who use it and they get tons of results. And, you know, even some of my favorite mentors who teach social media marketing for network marketers, one of the big things they teach is cold messaging as a part of the strategy in order to build your business on social media. You know, there's a, there's attraction marketing where you go out there, you post content and, and, and you come off as an expert in your industry. You attract people to you. Uh, there's running ads where you go run ads and, and you put lead magnets out there and attract people to come to you. Uh, but those things, those things work, but they take technique and they take, you know, time in order for you to get to a point where you have enough coming in. So today, guys, I want to talk about the importance of cold messaging and how right now in your business, it can get you results while you're working on the other two, attraction marketing and running ads. So the concept of, of cold messaging is, is you have to learn a few things. Number one, you have to know the limitations on the different platforms. For example, you know, on Facebook, it's recommended that you send you know, anywhere from 25 to 30 messages a day because if you send more, uh, Facebook will put you, put you in Facebook jail. And what that means is they will block you from using Messenger for a period of time. So you got to be very, very strategic. And then you got to learn, you know, your other platforms. So are you just going to use Facebook? Or are you going to use LinkedIn? Are you going to use Instagram? So what are the different platforms you're going to use? And what are the limitations? I know, for example, LinkedIn has a little bit more. You can send, you know, close to 50 messages a day without reaching your limit and getting blocked. Once you learn that, the second thing is, what is the power of, of, of cold messaging, right? You have these two different people when it comes to cold messaging. Some say build rapport, get to know people, become their best friends. And then the other people say, hey, just get to the point. And I'm right in the middle. What I mean by that is I get to the point, but I build a little bit of rapport in the meantime. So for me, when I send out messages, there's a few principles that I live by. Number one, how do we know each other? Hey, and if I don't know you and I'm sending a cold message or how did I come across your profile is what I'll put. So for example, hey, I came across your profile in a group, came across your profile in my timeline. Uh, came across your profile from another friend. I know we don't know each other. So off bat, I make it known, listen, I know we don't know each other, but listen, I noticed this. The second thing is point something distinctive about that person, right? Did you notice some, something on their timeline? Did you notice maybe a job description? Did you notice maybe their interest or maybe you're in the same group as them? I notice you're in this group. And then the last thing is you go straight to the point where you say, hey, listen, you know, just curious, are you open to additional opportunity? if it didn't interfere what you currently do. And then I end with, hey, if not, no big deal. So why is that framework good? Why is pointing out how I came across their profile, addressing that I don't know them, right? Um, letting them know there's something that I noticed about them and then asking them if they're open and hey, if not, no big deal, is because it builds a little rapport. It doesn't, make, it shows that I'm not randomly just coming across your profile. I did some research. And then it says, hey, there's no pressure in, the, in this thing. If, you, if you're interested, cool, if not, no big deal. So what I've noticed is when I've done that, my, my recruiting has gone up about 30% when, when fixing it. So here's one of the main principles you're going to stand. If you stay consistent with sending messages and you have a certain amount that you send every day, you're going to get a result, right? You're going to get a result, even if your message is not that great, your code message. But as you learn to improve, like I have, where I say, okay, well, what do people respond to more? Your conversion is going to go up. You're going to get more people interested. So the whole concept is, Find people either from your profile, from groups, from maybe an interest that you can type in a search bar, approach them and let them know, hey, I came across your profile because I noticed that you're interested in this. I noticed that you have on your profile this. So this is where the search bar and so social media is important because if you go to Facebook, for example, you can search a topic, you can search a job, you can search a post, you can search a hashtag and it'll bring up those people. That's an icebreaker for me, guys. So if I look, if I know, for example, if I do network marketing and for example, my business, I do uh, financial services inside of the network marketing industry. Well, I know that there are certain industries, real estate, mortgage professionals, tax professionals, uh, divorce lawyers, those type of individuals work closely with 
you know, life insurance agents and financial services. So when I reach out to them, I'll go on a search bar, type in their industry, say, I noticed you're in this industry. People in your industry do really well in my industry. Just curious, are you open to, you know, additional opportunity if it didn't, you know, interfere with what you currently do? If not, no big deal. So what I do is I send that certain amount of message on different platforms every day. And here's what happens. Number one, you're going to get people visiting your profile. So make sure your profile is set up good. So if you guys haven't yet downloaded my profile profits cheat sheets, it's in the description below where you can know how to set up your profile like a professional so that you can generate leads just off your profile alone. But also when you cold message people, they're going to visit your profile. And if it's the real deal, you're going to look like an instant authority to them. So that's number one. Number two, your content, your content has to look good. So the, the, the three things that I stick by is make sure that you educate, you inspire, and you entertain. If you stick to those three things, when people visit your profile, they're, you're going to look, again, like an authority to them immediately. So when you code message people, some are going to reply no. Some are going to check out your profile. And some are going to say, yes, I'm interested. Right? And this is where you have your video, your exposure ready to send them. Hey, and I use it. Once people show interest and say yes, I say, hey, if I were to send you a video, would you be able to watch it? And that's from Eric Worre's uh, GoPro book where he says, if I would you. So I always give a value exchange. I don't just send a link with a video because it looks very amateurish. So the number one thing you want to do is say, hey, cool. I'm glad you're interested. If I were to send you a video with more details, would you watch it? Most of the time, those people are going to say, yes, yes, I'll watch it. So then the next step is I send them the video and I have a follow-up date. Hey, when's a good time to follow up with you? They're going to say, hey, tomorrow. Then in my log, I have a prospect log. I just put their name the date that I sent them the video and the date that I should follow up. And I make sure that I pay attention to that log every day. That's how I've increased my conversion from cold messaging online. So several rules. Number one, you don't have to make it your only strategy. Just take an hour out of your day, maybe an hour and a half. If you have that much time, sometimes too, and just say, Hey, I'm going to send out this amount of messages. Then you can incorporate your other activities. If you look at this paper here, this is a paper that I created where I have different activities that I do that lead to getting a recruit. So some of them are content, some of them are commenting on posts, some of them are following up with people. And one of them is what I just mentioned, cold messaging. So it's not my only strategy, but I know that because I've sent out a certain amount of messages, that I'm gonna have some people responding. And from those people responding, I know that a certain percentage of those people are gonna become a recruit in my business. So my main two platforms that that worked on for me is LinkedIn, because it's a career website and obviously Facebook, because that's my main website where my main profile and social media platform where I post a lot of stuff. So I hope that was helpful. That helps you brush up um, your skills when it comes to social media prospecting, cold messaging for, for network marketers. Um, and again, if you guys did like that, if you guys want to fix your profile, have it look like an authority profile, have it look good. So when people, when you cold message people, they look at your profile and they say, wow, this person is a real deal. In the description below, I'll put my profile profits cheat sheet where you can see five areas that you can improve on your profile so that it looks better and you look like an instant authority and you can generate leads on social media. So appreciate you guys. As always, your success is important to me. I'll see you guys out there out in the field.